but you know that you can sugar Dude, kill day. Korea Tara Mushogurashi Momonday Nayaro. Son Hajime Karawaka Turua, kill day. O my no Tio Sava, or a Ichibanga Katunia. Say at the Nande Kunako Stein. Mukashino Mayatara Masaki or any Naguri Kakatik Hazir. Say on Nandi. それがあかんねや兄弟。俺はもうお前の相手できへんのや。おいたんは俺の方や。登場会支える仕事ばっかりしとったらいつの間にか牙抜けてしもうた。I think Majima really has lost his edge that made him as crazy as he used to be. It's kind of a weird sight to see Majima this way, but I don't think it'll last for long though. I mean, it's Majima. He's been through so much that I, I doubt that he would just like go back to a, a civilian life now. Kane can you tell me Yakuza was saying what Chikara? Chikara, who's not an Indian? Chikara, our Ningen is on which user an aga. Sajima Omaiwa Tojo Kaino Chikara. Zet tiny to you, Mama Kamurocho and Modo de Kurunga de. ねえどっちが見送りしとんのかわからんわ<笑>ほんまえお迎えが来たでああ I think really I'll just send him Sajima back to prison. I was like thinking like maybe there's a way he'll get out of this, but no. He's, he's just gonna go back to prison life now. December 2012. Yeah, so this will be set in modern day. Yeah. I was trying to think if this is going to be a cutscene in the past or this is set in the present, but I'm pretty sure it's the present. Yeah. Sajima? I, I didn't even recognize him because of his really short hair. I do admit though, the short hair makes him look a lot younger. Like a lot, lot younger. But now I understand why he's got short hair because that's what they do to inmates in prison. Yes, I don't know. Sajima with short hair, I could get used to this. It actually doesn't look too bad on him. 
he kind of looks a lot younger to me. But he still looks like a badass with long hair or short hair, so I'm totally fine with either des design choice. So I'm trying to see if this is the same prison that Sajima was locked away in Yakuza 4. I'm not sure. I don't, I, I would be surprised if it is the same one, because he'll, he'll just find a way to get out of that one again. So maybe it is a different one. いいじゃないですか。同部屋の馴染みなんてし。それに最島さん、元は東条会の大屋分さんだったって話じゃないですか。誰に聞いたんや。誰とかじゃなくてかなり噂になってますよ。昔18人相手に一人で飛び込んで
あの連中から恨みを買うようなことでもしたのか表にいた頃何かあったとかいや覚えないな俺がシャバにおったんが一年ちょっとやしなそれにしちゃずいぶんしつこくつきまとわれてんな半年前連中がここへ入所してきてからずっとおめごとがあったわけでもないのになもしかしたら俺がいた組織に恨みある連中かわからんそうかだが気をつけろよ最初はよくある喧嘩程度に思っとったが最近は連中のやり口もエスカレートしてきてる次は鎮痛剤じゃ済まないほどの大怪我追うことになるかもしれんぞ前から気になってたんだがあんたどうしてやり返さないんだあかんまえ手出したらあかん事情があるんやシャバの話か So, welcome to the stream.、Uh, Calico Cross? I hope I said your name right.、Uh, but doing time the slammer? Yes, we are.、Yep. Yeah, Sajime won't. Sajime's been sent back to prison, unfortunately. So, he's got to do his time. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. I hope you've had a really nice week as well. Yeah. ハンメンアクジオミノワシオノトゴジャナイ。ソーダンスルカチワルンジャナイノカ。ケイムカニアフクシュチョウ。ソナイカンタニシンヨデゲイ。オキナワダイニケイムショノハナシダナ。オレモ
どないしてなんや相談したいことあるんとちゃうんか大丈夫っすもう断ってきましたから断るって何を I could see the interactions between these two characters as being the main driving force for Sajima's part of the story in this game. What do you mean? I'm not sure what I'm doing here. 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 I'm not sure I do wonder who he killed, though. Especially at such a young age. Oh, so he was a general in the Kumi Doshi. 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 He was a general in the すぐに俺が無所から出られるように手配してくれるって言ってたんですけどそれから何年経っても音沙汰なしで、so、yeah, 最初は入った無所が完成したから面会に来れないんだと思ってました that, that <laughs> That's pretty bad. 七八年過ぎたあたりからだんだん See, was just pretty much the escape girl pretty much in that situation あ,あもう俺捨てられたんだろうなってババちゃん<笑>あすいません心機臭い話しちゃって<笑>でももういいんです吹っ切れました you only know about how to Sajima fit into the story. 俺は人を殺した、um, so... 悔いを受けるのは当然なんです Sajima fits into the... Sajima first got introduced in Yakuza 4 10年勤めたところで俺の罪は知らないです but there was to him in Yakuza Zero. So, Majima was supposed to do a hit on a rival Yakuza clan with Majima. But then Majima didn't turn up because he. I'm trying to remember the reasons why he didn't turn up. Basically, he was like. Sajima took the whole blame for the, the, the murder of the, the rival clan and then did. A lot of time in prison. I want to say, like, he did 20 years in prison. He was in the, the prison system for a long ass time. So, my, uh, not Majima, <laughs> Sajima's introduction in Yakuza 4 is him escaping from prison and then trying to find Majima. And that's kind of how he uh, plays his part in the story. It's, it's a lot of, like, different. Connections. Um, that's the best way to describe it, yeah. But his main his main introduction was in Yakuza 4, and uh, they did a really good job of it. Like, Sajima was one of my favorite characters from Yakuza 4, and the way he fits into the story in that game, and the way he's <laughs> kind of been put into this game as well, it's been good. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit complicated, it's a little bit out there. Especially because it goes back to Yakuza 0 a little bit, back in the 80s, so... Um, but yeah, yeah. But Sajima, he's a cool character. His fighting style especially, because he's really tanky. そうか。<laughs> I think I also remembered that Sajima fought Majima had blackmailed him into the killing scenario. So there was kind of a rift between Majima and Sajima for a few years. But the way they did it was really well done. I thought for a second this was a, a character we've met before. I was trying to remember, like, do, do I remember this character? But no. 
せっかくのお楽しみの時間なんだからさおおあれだけいたぶってやったのにもうこんなに治ったのかうわあ,あ、うん、that's that's painful、うん。See, I don't get squeamish, but damn, dude, that、uh. this poor fellow is. I got caught out side to side. I mean, I think he's been. I think he's a bit of a sadist. He's a little bit of a weirdo. Maybe it was Ozu caught his eye out. Sympathy, sympathy lost. Yeah, <laughs> right away. I'm like, damn, like, there's some, there's been some psychopaths in the Yakuza games, but th this dude is up there already. Also, like, I'm, what's, what's his issue with us? That's the problem. This guy's had a personal grudge against Sajima for quite a while then. So it's going to be someone from the outside then, from Sajima's past. I, I don't recognize him. No. I'm trying to think of any bald characters that Sajima beat up in Yakuza 4. I can't, can't think of anyone right now. こいつに口止めされていたんだ。同部屋のお前らにはこのことを言わないでほしいとな。くそ。最初から。こいつがその気になれば、あの程度の連中相手にはなるまい。じゃあなんで最近もオイバーはやり返さない。Don't tell me the police officers are also going to be really corrupt. Because it wouldn't be the first time we've met corrupt police officers in a Yakuza game. I think every police officer is corrupt in one way. どうして手を出さない副所長なんであんたがここに私の質問に答えろなぜ手を出さない別にただ飯が喉を通らんだけ飯の話じゃないよ釘原のことだ国原たちに暴行を受けていることは知っている。だがなぜお前が国原たちに暴行を受けていることは知っているんだ。だがなぜお前が国原たちに暴行を受けていることは知っているんだ。だがなぜお前が国原たちに暴行を受けていることは知っ
お前が国原たちに暴行を受けないよう対処するくらいのことならできるお前さえよければ刑期終了までこの懲罰棒に置いてやってもいいんだぞ私が所長に一言反省の色なしと報告すれば済むことだどうする余計なお世話や何もし俺がここにおったら同じ棒の人間が釘原たちに狙われてまうかわからん同部屋というだけでもう仲間気分かそんなんじゃうせやけど俺がなかったら耐えられんで死んでまう釘原の標的は俺でええんや自分が標的になることで他に被害を出さないつもりかこれは私の推測だがあいつらの狙いはお前だけだいくら釘原といえど手当たり次第暴力行為を重ねるようなバカな真似はせんだろうつまりお前がいいとだとだ<笑>ああいつらの狙いはお前だけだ食事が済んだらすぐに懲罰棒から出してやるそれでいいんだろうおおきにインバーユスリーやめてくれ気になって仕方ねえすすいません西島のことが気になってんのか気持ちはわかるけどよ俺らじゃどうにもできねえんだそれに懲罰棒なら少なくとも3日帰ってこないゆっくり待つしかねえだろそ,そんなことわかってるんですけどなんかどうしても落ち着いていられなくてそういやお前、西島さんに相談があるのか。私は、like、this prison is a lot more better than the, the previous prison Sajima was in. Because that was just a, a torture cell, basically. See, this prison isn't too bad. I think it's just the inmates that are the problem, I think. So, what's that? Yeah. It's a good thing. 極道門にはここでた後もいろいろな事情が待ってるだろうからな。Because I remember the, the prison that Sajun was in in Yakuza Fall was. So you know, it was bad. It was really bad. Like the layout of it and the.、Uh, it was just a fortress more than a prison. This place does seem a bit more like homely in ways. And this time around, Sajun has got some pretty like, friendly inmates on his side. I'm just worried about the, the bald guy because he's going to be a problem. I think I know what you're talking about. I'm not sure 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 what you're talking about. Baba. I also completely forgot to ask、uh, Kawako have you played any of the previous Yakuza games? Oh, Karina Sai, Sai Jama san! Chobatsubo Ikinisho, Zuiban to Hoyo Motor. ああよう分からんけど副所長の男がすぐに戻れるように手配してくれたようや副所長ってあの高坂が署内の揉め元にはいつも厳しいあの男がどうしてさあなそやけど仮釈放を期待すなて釘刺されたわあの男極道門が嫌いらしいまあ高坂は厳格な男だからな
あんたがシャバの大物ということを知って所内で下手に人脈を作らせないよう警告したかったのかもしれないなしかしよそんなヤクザ嫌いな副所長相手にわざわざ出所したくねえなんていうバカもいるんだから本当おかしなもんだぜパパちゃんやっぱり考えは変わらんが明日にでも高坂に再面談を申し出たらどうだまだ正式に仮釈放取り消しの決定が下ったわけじゃない改めて反省の色を示せば向こうも仮釈放を認めるかもしれない you haven't played any of the Yakuza games but you've seen the whole Yakuza Zero playthrough Yakuza Zero is still one of my favorites it's such a good game like it's such a good introduction to the series Uh, the setting alone and the, the characters. Yeah, Yak Yakuza Zero is really, really good. But yeah, I, ha I highly recommend every other Yakuza game, especially Yakuza Kwami 2. Because that's still my all time favorite. Yeah, so far, I haven't played a single Yakuza game that I disliked. Each of them have been really good in their own ways. いろんな想像を巡らして頭の中で月見のりった気分になって思いっきり遊ぶんです。なんだそりゃ。ガキの遊びにもならねえじゃねえか。そう意地張らないで。やってみれば楽しいですって。ね。最島さんもやってみましょ
Yeah, it's it's quite bright. Yeah. But I definitely know I'm playing the Yakuza game because <laughs> it's definitely getting weird again. It's also kind of a cool way of them to introduce the new city because I think each individual character has a new city to explore. So it's not it's not a, a weird way, a super weird way of introducing it, I guess. You know, it's it's different, so. I guess also if you were locked away for so long, like Sajima has, then you, you do need to use your imagination every now and then. 10 million yen appeared in your wallet. I also wonder, like, how much is 10 million yen in today's currency? That's, that's got to be, like, 15, 20 million. Because this was set over yes, 10 years yeah. ago, so... Pretty sure yen costs a lot more nowadays. The establishment has an 8,400 yen minimum, along with a 3,150 yen cover charge. God, we've only just stepped through the entrance. Requesting a specific hostess incurs another 3,150. So that's like over 15,000 yen already. So like this guy spent 10 million in a hostess club in one night of... Man, that's crazy. k US dollars without inflation today are 60,000 pounds sterling. Damn, dude, that's... That's way too much money. <laughs> See, I don't know what to do with that amount of money. Champagne Tower is 1 million yen to buy. Hey, we've got the money for it. Why not? Why not? Yeah, 80k USD, that's... Yeah, that's crazy, really. So I think back to like Yakuza 0 when they used to say like, oh 100 million yen, 200 million yen, and that was back in the 80s, so. Sajima just not look impressed. <laughs> he just looks so bored out of his mind. Now we're getting a first person angle. Where did you come from, Sajima-san? To Tokyo? Oh, I've got multiple choices. Uh, you know, we'll just play cool. Yeah, we'll play cool and casual. We don't give, don't we don't want to give anything away, I guess. Like this, this hostess doesn't need to know we used to work with the Yakuza. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'll ever get used to the first person aspect in any Yakuza game. It always just puts me off a little bit of just how up close characters are. Uh, I mean, I feel like one of these options is like an option to be a total asshole to this girl. I don't know, both options are kind of mean. Uh, I, I guess we'll go with the less mean one. <laughs><笑> 
I just don't think holds this clubs are Sajima's style. I, I just don't think they are. <laughs> You make the girl do all the talking, she's gonna think you're boring. <laughs> what do I do then? Uh, sometimes you should be the one to bring up a topic to talk about, or maybe you can try ordering something else. Maybe start by asking her on a date. Choose something to talk about, ask a question, make an additional order. Man, so many options. Uh, I, I guess we could just go for it and, and see if that's a good option or not. That actually worked out. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that worked out. I thought we might have to like sweet talk our way into this. さん、生まれは東京じゃないですよね。うん。やっぱり関西の人は言葉ですぐわかりますからね。ほんなら私は北海道生まれ、北海道育ちですよ。そうか。札幌です。子供の頃からずっとそうですよ。北海道の子って鉛ないんです。うん。今は普通にテレビで東京の言葉聞きますからね。おじいちゃん、おばあちゃんくらいかな。お父さん、お母さんも鉛ないですよ。多分。ひょ
don't have anything to hand over. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just keep making more orders then. One got 50 experience points. I think it was because it was the cheapest option on the menu. Hmm? うん。現役の子たちと <laughs> Yeah. Mm. I'm also making sure we pick the right options because I don't want that heart meter to go down again. So I kind of like that. I kind of just want to keep the heart meter full and then try and get out of this as quick as we can. Because I think we could probably do this like for a good two hours or so, so I don't want to spend forever on this. Champagne towers, one million. Yeah, we'll buy that. That'll probably be the last thing that I buy for this, I think. And then that should get us oh, like 150 XP, possibly. I am really curious to see how Sajima is going to do at karaoke because I definitely don't think Sajima is a karaoke guy. I, I just don't see it. It's 1,000 yen. Okay. Well, we've got plenty of money. I also think this is the first time I've done karaoke in Yakuza 5 because I don't think we did it during Kiru's part of the story. I think we walked past the karaoke place but we didn't enter it.
Look, I definitely need to see Sajima do karaoke for this. It's good, just because the visual alone is going to be great. Everybody say lose your love. Woo! Lose your love. Yeah. Also, Sajima's got some pipes on him. He actually can sing. Sadhu is really good, it's just... Like, I'm surprised how well they can actually sing this. Got 146 great notes, 35 good notes, and 4 bad notes. 910 points? Yep, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's the first time ever doing the karaoke in Yakuza 5. I think 910. It's not a bad, not a bad score at all. Considering the best one is 970. Yeah, we did pretty well. And now we gotta sing. You love the intermixed English lyrics though at the end. Oh yeah, yeah, I always love how they've done that. I think um I think in Yakuza Zero they did that quite a lot. Like the the broken English parts is always the best part. Especially for Sajima. <laughs> like I'm still I'm still trying to get over Sajima's like voice. It's actually like what? Like how much of a like hard ass Sajima is? I'm like this, this man can actually sing. I'm like at that at that point just take up a career in being a singer.
this is the true like yak is an emotional sun boy song. <laughs> I think the bit, the bit that always kills me is when you see the picture. I think in Yakuza 0, it was a picture of a dog. If you did karaoke as Kiru. I don't remember what it was in Yakuza 1 or 2, but I'm pretty sure this song has been in every Yakuza game. He's pretty decent. He is! He's a really good singer. And we got 950. I think I might have missed one or two notes during that. Oh, we only missed two notes. What was the best score? Best score was 970? Ah, that kind of stings a little bit. I think if I didn't miss those two notes, we probably would have got the highest score. But I feel like at this point, once Sajima gets out of prison, he should ditch the Yakuza life and just start doing karaoke for a living. Because that's the thing, like, all these Yakuza high-ranked members in, like, the Total Clan and then Majima's Clan, they can all sing really well. Like, all of them. Like, even Majima can sing well and that's saying something. Considering how crazy he is. A while since I talked to a woman, but it was a good time, even if imaginary. <laughs> so, after all that fun, I was just famished. I decided to go have a meal. Suddenly, hunger welled up out of nowhere. And he's really picturing this. If you're still hungry for female company, there's Ayazaki Hanako as well. So we've got like three, three options to go and get food. I mean, I'm not too picky, like, I'll eat anything, and I'm pretty sure Sajima is going to eat any food as well, so... Yeah, we'll just pick the closest place, I think. I was going to say all this food looks good, but we'll, we'll pick the first option. I wonder also if we can go and eat again, because I don't think our HP bar is all the way filled. The only cheesy guy here is you, because you're the rat who's been bothering my girl. <laughs> that's that's a classic Yakuza line. 
Imagination, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of getting more into this, although it is still a little bit weird. Just, just how all these like enemies just popped out of nowhere. I'm also wondering, like, in this imaginary scenario, do we actually have to fight enemies? Because that's gonna play out really weirdly as well. We might actually have to fight these guys. to check my health actually. Oh no, okay, my health bar is full. Good. Do we have any... No, we don't have any soul orbs, so I can't upgrade or unlock any new abilities. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just killed that guy, even in our imagination. <laughs> we get imaginary injuries from the enemies. Oh god, can you yeah, imagine that? You just wake up the next day just like covered in bruises everywhere. I mean saying that, like Sajim is already bruised up as it is. With all the prison beatings, so yeah, we definitely don't need Sajima. Getting any more injuries anytime soon. We did actually get a new soul orbs. Let me boost the heat gauge's maximum value. Put some points into that. Escape enemy holds more easily. We also definitely need that because we do get grabbed from time to time. どうです。案外いい気分転換になったでしょう。たく、お姉さんの話はどれもこれも嘘くさくて。<笑>俺らにだって生きることを楽しむ権利があるんです。死ぬまでここにいるってなら話は別ですけど。だから今ここでこうして耐えて身を洗ってシャバの楽しいことを目いっぱい考えて明日が来るの待ちましょうよ。楽しい
Sajima went to prison for multiple things. <laughs> I don't know about the other two inmates. All in due time? I hope so. Because I do, I do like that group of characters, even though we don't know a lot about them. They're quite interesting. This is the next day. Baba Chan wasn't in the cell block, is he out in the exercise yard? Just checking what our experience points are like at the moment. So we need. Oh no, we need quite a lot of experience points before we level up again. I should definitely update my save file also while we get the chance to. So far I'm kind of liking Sajima's part of the story so far. It's it's a little bit slower paced than Kiru's part of the story. But that's not a bad thing. Because this this is just the opening first chapter, so you know, I'm sure things will pick up pretty soon. I don't think we're going to be spending too much longer in this prison. We'll probably escape in this chapter. I'm hoping Sajima beats up the guy who, who's been torturing us. We beat him up, we escape prison. We then get involved in some massive yakas of conspiracy again. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping for Sajima's story. あんたが気にしてるのはババの仮釈放のことだろう。安心しな。今朝あんたが診療所に行った後、ババが直接副署長の交差に頼んで、今ちょうど再面談をしてるとこだ。え、それ本当ですか？ああ、ババのやつやっ
Maybe this guy can help us. I don't think this elder inmate is going to be of any use to us. So we need to talk to somebody else then. But I can't talk to those. How about this guy over here? Maybe he's seen something. That was no help either. The garage is trying to stir trouble. And we want to stay out of trouble. Uh, let me see. Who else? Any cars? Mm, I was wondering if we could go inside there or not, but no. Can we do anything over here? Nope. Okay, nothing over there either. Talk to him. How about you? I see who else we haven't actually spoken to because I think we've spoken to nearly everyone we can do. Maybe this guy does know something. Hmm? This guy's acting a little bit suspicious as well. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on him. Don't think we can talk to the guards. No, no. I don't think anyone over here is going to be any help. See, so that kind of rules out like 80% of the people in this place then. <laughs> I think the only people we haven't spoken to are on this side, I think. Hunter. うちの棒によるババシットル。サイジマさん。Maybe we actually get to fight the guy now. 
こ,こいつやりやがったいてえいてえよ何をこそこそやってる<笑>こ,こいつがいきなり大技をさせたんだよ見てよ何ババちゃんババアドフィンキーアドフィンキーババディーナー違う俺じゃない He was framed. 俺じゃないんだ何じゃあその手に持っているものは何だいきなりそれで俺の足をち違うここれは俺のじゃおいケガ人を早く医務室に連れて行けババお前Well, the plot definitely thickens, but I don't.、Mm, I just don't believe Baba would do this. No. Especially if he was about to go on to parole. He wouldn't just go and stab someone. The only, the only two things I'm thinking now is Baba Chan was framed, or Baba Chan has some sort of personality situation going on. Those are the only two things I can think of. Because I don't think Baba Chan has anything to gain by stabbing another inmate. It, it doesn't make sense. Like a memory gap situation? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Like it's it's got to be one of those two options. Either it's a, it's a memory situation or he's being framed. Because I don't think Baba. Will turn out to be a villainous character. Like, that would be a twist on it if they do go ahead and do that. Because you, you get introduced to him and it's like, oh, he's kind of a friendly inmate. He made some mistakes, he did his time. And then it turns out he was like a villain going around being violent throughout the, his entire journey, I guess. Like, that would be cool. But I think the chances of that happening are really small. So, yeah, I, I do think it's. There's, there's a lot more beneath the surface that we, we need to figure out. It's also weird because the, the Scarface character wasn't there, so. I'm, I'm also thinking about his absence as well, not being there when everything went down, so. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm, I'm pretty confident we'll find out very soon. Yeah. So he didn't see anything, he saw no stabbing, no nothing. I'm also thinking about like Baba's first kill on the Yakuza was. Because he was put up to it, so I don't think he would make that same mistake twice. But I do like where this chapter's going. Okay, well, this guy's no help. <laughs> He's just gonna say the same thing to us over and over. So let me update my save file while we get a chance. So I do think we've got a boss fight coming up very soon. Because we've not had a full on boss fight yet. Not just yet. So 
We need to talk to the right people to get the right information. See, nobody actually saw him commit a crime. No one saw the actual stabbing, maybe Babachan didn't do it. The victim said it was him though, didn't he? So of course the victim's gonna say that, because the victim's probably part of the the other guy's crew. But if no one saw Babachan actually commit the crime, then was it really him? Good luck proving his innocence. Oh, we're going to prove his innocence, all right. I want to see who else we can talk to. I think we already spoke to this guy. No one claimed they saw Baba do it, but nobody said he didn't even do it. But, if you don't have Baba, you won't be able to kill Baba. I think he probably stabbed the guy, but the question is why and what's up with the memory gap and what was Scarface. Yeah, those are the those are the two things that I I don't know. Like, I think the memory gap thing will come into question, especially because of Baba Chan's past. With the reason why he was put into prison. But him talking to the Scarface character. That's the bit that I don't understand. Because I don't think he would be put up to the task of injuring someone else, especially when he's about to leave prison. Unless it's just an entire trap just to get Sajima's attention. That could also be it. I don't know. It's a bit of a complicated situation. Because if you believe that Baba's innocence is unquestionable, っていう証拠を集めるんじゃなく、逆にあいつらが嘘をついてるって証拠を用意すればいいんです。嘘の証拠？ええ、俺の読みじゃあの狂気、あれは刺された連中が用意したもんなんじゃないかと思ってます。
いきなりってことは武器を奪われたという事象の否定つまりあの凶器はババちゃんが用意したものであると被害者自ら断定してるんですなるほどなそしたらあの凶器の出どころ探ってババが用意できんかったっちゅうのを確かめたらいいんやなそうですそれが証明できれば被害者の証言を否定することができるそうなれば少なくともババちゃんが犯人であることも同時に否定できます、うん、日村はいさっきから気になっていたんだがどうしてお前そんなに証拠やらないやら詳しいんだやっぱり気になっちゃいますこのこと内緒にしておいてほしいんですけど実は私昔同系の刑事なんかをやってましてしかも一家の使いすべポイントですね刑事やとなんで刑事が無所におるんやまあそれは職業柄いろいろと誘惑がありまして<笑>ついいわゆる汚職ってやつに手を染めてしまったとか。That's why took a bit of <笑> like、every police officer is それは刑事といや、犯罪者の仕事でしょ。Officers, 刑務所の中で元刑事だなんてバレたら、受刑者たちからリンチされるのは目に見えてますよ。そういうことか。収賄罪で幸い刑期も短いし、黙りでいこうと思ってたんですが。自分で一緒に飯食った仲間の窮地ですからね。黙ってるわけにもいかないと。<笑>なるほどな。見直したぜ。で、具体的には何したらいいババちゃんが手に持っていたあののみがどこにあったものなのかを調べるのが一番の早道でしょう。よし。ほんならそれを調べて回るか。そうですね。手分けして情報を聞き込みしましょう。聞き込みかまるで刑事の口ぶりだなさあ気合い乗ってきたやりましょうああ。Alrighty, so on that note, I'm going to take a small break and make a new cup of tea because I haven't had a cup of tea in like the last three hours.、Uh, so yeah, I'll be back in like five minutes. Yeah, let's say five minutes. Alrighty. So I will see you guys then.
Alrighty, welcome back. Also, I apologize for how long that took. But I do have my cup of tea now, so... All is good for now, yeah. Yeah, I ended up getting, like, kind of distracted for a second. Like, I went to make my tea, and then realized there was, like, two things that I didn't do earlier on before I started streaming today, so... I have to quickly get those two things out of the way, so... Yeah, kind of took a little bit longer than normal, so... That's normally why when I do stream, I don't tend to take breaks at all. I kind of just stream in one full stream without any breaks, but, uh, yeah. I, I needed my tea, man. It's... It's what I live off, pretty much. It's like, every every time I stream, I have to have coffee, or I have to have tea next to me. Alrighty, but again, I apologise for how long that took. I also feel bad because you've just been listening to the Yakuza 5 background music for like the past 10 minutes. Anyway, we gotta, fight, we gotta go investigate. Gotta, gotta stay hydrated. Exactly. Thank you, Calico. I'm, I'm glad you understand. <laughs> yes, I, I cannot live without my coffee. Cannot live without my tea. Yeah, I always need it. Always. So yeah, let's get down to some investigating then. But before we get down to investigating, let me update my save file again. Okay, so what do we gotta do? Gotta find proof to clear Baba-chan's name. So I'm wondering if we can possibly go inside here or not. I don't think we can. I do want to double check every single area though to make sure... We're not missing any, any evidence of any kind. Anything that could, you know, help us in this investigation. I'm though I'm wondering though, like, who do we need to talk to for this? Because a lot of these NPCs don't really help us, they just kind of give us the same information over and over again. Like, we've, we've heard the same sentence from this guy up, like three times now. I think this guy might be able to help us. Hmm? So they don't use chisels. Gotta find someone with better information. Yeah, so the only thing that guy told us that they work on a maintenance crew and they don't use chisels of any kind. spoken to everyone on this side so maybe yeah we'll go to this place and see if anyone over here can help so I don't think we'll be able to talk to any of the security guards because we do kind of want to keep this on the low and, and not get them involved and there's no one we can talk to over here The old man was bluffing then, because when we went to go and talk to him previously, he was kind of playing it, off, playing it off like, oh, I'm old. I don't understand what's going on. So yeah, let's go have another word with him. We've got to keep things on the low? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, you know? Because we still don't even know if the guards might be involved in this. 
We don't know. Especially because, you know, we, we do want to get on the good side of the prison system for Sajimo. I wouldn't want to. Raid suspicion. No one bothers an old man. Yeah, this old man was lying, though. He tried to pretend he was just a, a normal old man, but no. This guy's got connections in this prison. Maybe we should have known from the start that this guy was kind of... had a lot of power to his name. Because considering how old he is, you know, you, you don't... You don't last in a prison like this as an old guy without knowing people. And this guy certainly knows us as well. He called us a celebrity? Man, I wouldn't call Sajima a celebrity, no. It's a weird way to put it. I think it's going to be easy to get information out of this guy. I think we might have to do a few favours for him. Need to get some goods off this guy. Just make sure no one sees you do it. Hit the goes to the guard stand in front of and to the left of you. You'll need to be stealthy about that move as well. Don't just walk up to him, pass it through the fence. Don't do anything to draw suspicion. That's, that's the number one rule I'm going to take from this conversation. Don't do anything to draw suspicion. Approach the man without arousing suspicion. Running near other inmates and guards will draw attention, so walk when you're close to them. So we just gotta be really casual about this. And I think we need to give it to... I'm trying to remember which guard it is now. I don't think it's that one in front of us. I think it might be the one on this side. Oh, no, no, it is this guard. Okay, we've got to be a little bit slower this time. Our part done. Now we just need to talk to him and, and get our information. convicts with chisel access and the woodworkers. Every chisel is marked with a unique number. Inmates can only use the chisel that's assigned to them. One of the woodworkers is... 
Oh, okay, so one of the woodworkers is the, uh, the, the Scarface guy. I think that was his name, anyway. The chisels from the woodworking crew for sure, but we don't know who it belongs to. ケッキョク、狂気の飲みが木工班のものだったってことは分かったが、それが誰のものかは分からず どないするえやるか。え盗むってことだよ。盗むって。大島のおやっさん。あんた セットを数1万5000件超。逮捕歴ゼロ。皆さん、it's quite an interesting group that we have here. ジシュ。ああ。ずっと神さんに隠してたんだ。盗みをやってること。毎日サラリーマンのふりして背広を着て家を出ては盗みを繰り返していた。だから背広の平八郎。だが俺が定年すると決めていた60歳を誕生日。
Chisels all got numbers and they're all assigned to certain woodworkers. Who are the only guys allowed to take them out? Have it occurred to you that Baba might actually be the culprit? No, it doesn't occur to me because I don't think Baba is the culprit. Mm -mm. I think like that would be too simple as well if it was just Baba the entire time. Especially after all this investigation work. Got a mystery envelope. I mean, we were originally supposed to just play this low and, and not draw attention, but I feel like that might be going out of the window pretty soon. Also, before we do this next part of this investigation, let me update my save. I'm pretty much updating it quite a lot because I, I never know when there's going to be a boss fight and I do want to be fully prepared for any boss fights. So I do have to actually fully run away from him and the other officer. I was like, this will just be a cutscene, but no, we actually have to do it on our own. So I don't know if we have to wait until the timer ticks down to zero or if the prison guard's health decreases. As long as he doesn't catch up to us, we should be good. I really also don't want to mess up this quick time event. Uh, okay, no, we're free. Okay, just run, just run. for my life I don't fail this quick time event. You stumble into a boss fight one in one game never again. <laughs> Do you remember what boss fight it was? I remember Yakuza 0 had a, did have a few tricky boss fights. Especially the last like two or three boss fights in that game. Like if you if you won a high enough level, or didn't put enough skill points into certain abilities. Yeah, some of those boss fights could be really tricky. So I do remember Yakuza Kawami gave me the hardest time with the hardest boss fights. Especially towards the end of that game. There was one, one boss in particular who stands out as being one of the hardest bosses. We handed over the mystery envelope. <laughs> the envelope said nice drugs. <laughs> God, I hope to God Sajima doesn't get beat up for this. The final substory fights in Zero and Kawami are pretty hard. Yes, yes. I remember. I'm trying to remember the final boss fights for substory fights in Kawami. I remember a few in Zero. But yeah, the level the level spike is crazy in Kawami. I I remember. 
I want to say the last three or four chapters in Kiwami, the, the, the boss fights in that were insane to deal with. And you, uh, you stumbled into a boss fight once, never again, and it was the guy on the motor bike in the tunnel. Yep. That's, I think that's early on in Yakuza 0 as well. I remember, um, I remember that boss fight, I think first time, gave me a little bit of difficulty. But then later on in Yakuza 0, there was another boss fight encounter with him, which uh, was a lot more trickier. The final story in general with the lot for Yakuza 0 I thought was pretty absurd. Yeah, the, they definitely spike the difficulty up. Yeah, for the last few bosses. Because I can say Yakuza 4 didn't give me any trouble with boss fights. Yakuza Kiwami 2 doesn't give me any trouble with boss fights. But I think that's because of the uh, the Dragon Engine. Because the Dragon Engine for Kiwami 2 makes the game feel a lot more easier in difficulty. And I think Yakuza 3... Maybe there was like one boss in that game that I had some trouble with. But I can't think of any I can't think of any bosses in Yakuza 4 that which were really difficult. I forgot which Yakuza has a dude with a full auto rocket launcher, but that one stands out. Oh man, I'm trying to remember. That might be That could be Zero. Or it could be Kawami. Because I don't remember that in Kwami 2. Yeah, may maybe it's zero. Maybe it is. The one that gave me the most trouble in Kwami was the guy with all the SWAT guard team mates around him. Because, like, you could get stun locked to death in that boss fight. I love, you gotta love the craziness of it, though. I, I love the craziness of Yakuza, especially the boss fights, but. Yeah, there, there's some in uh, Kiwami which are just, like, really difficult for no reason. Like, I'm still waiting for, to find a boss fight in Yakuza 5 that is going to be uh, difficult. But so far, so good. We haven't run into any. I say that now, but watch, th watch this next upcoming boss fight be really difficult. That's why I'm also curious about Yakuza like a dragon, because it's turn-based. Or the combat's turn-based. If there's going to be any difficult boss fights for that. Some fights are cool, but not necessarily difficult. That's kind of how I feel about Yakuza Kiwami 2. I think the all the boss fights in that are pretty cool. But I don't think there's a lot of difficulty to it. Even on the hardest... Because um, when I streamed Yakuza Kiwami 2, um, back in... I want to say back in October last year, I want to say. Um, I think I played that on the hardest difficulty and didn't have any issues with it. Like, it's not a difficult game, it really isn't. I remember 3, three had some tough moments because it felt a little bit clunky with some of the combat. But like, Yakuza Like a Dragon, I'm really looking forward to doing a first playthrough for. With the, the turn-based combat and just to see how the boss fights are after that game. I think that's going to be really interesting. Also, did he just give us a health item? I need to check what he gave us. Because he definitely Fight gave us man. a item. Do it. Hmm. <laughs> でもねえよ。ほんなら。ああ、バッチリだ。さすが背広の兵八だ。バカ。でかい声出すな。すすみません。つい。<笑> So it looks like we found the culprit then. Ah, so so, 
どうした西島そんな怖えつらしてどうしたなんでババに手出したお前の標的は俺のはずや。Speaking of boss fights, is it? 何言ってんのかさっぱりわかんねえな。手出されたなこっちの方だろうな。Because I really want to beat this guy up so much. He's being such an asshole. But、even though this would be against Sajima's character, I just want Sajima to just stab this guy with a chisel so bad. ババちゃんは仮釈放が決まってたんだそれをお前が台無しにしたんだ<笑>あいつもおとなしく言うことを聞いてればこんな目に合わずに済んだってのに生意気に反抗するからこんなことになるんだどういうことへババに言ったんだよ昨日の夜西島が懲罰房から帰ってきたら寝首をかけてな何やとただでってわけじゃねえ。ちゃんと表に出てからの仕事も圧っしてやるって言ったんだ。確かあいつ、組に捨てられて仮釈放をひよってたんだよな。お前。だがあいつは断った。人が親切に仕事世話してやるって言ったのによ。だから呼び出してお仕置きしてやったのさ。仮釈取り消しのお仕置きをよ。Where we definitely found the culprit to this entire scenario. Hajimini, Anobasho de Orono Bukatachina Kinkasteta. Mochiron Orono Sijida. Ashini no me such the Kegamo Sasetena. Sogoni Babana Yatsina Yatekita. Orea Kinka no Chusai in Hire Furioste. Tenny Motta no me or Babani Watashita. I tsayok Kangamo says in Soreo Keto de Cretao. あとはお前も知ってる通りだ。This has to be a boss fight coming up。クズの中でも最低のクズよ。<笑>クズに最高も最低もねえだろうがよ。所詮あいつも人殺し。ここにいる全員クズなんだよ。俺もお前もな。兄貴。さえじま、お前。立てや。やっと手出したな。はよ立て言うとんのや。望み通りいくらでも相手したる<笑>何万回殴られてもやり返さなかったくせにあんなバカ一人に手出されただけで切れやがってやがましがお前に切れとるんやない俺は自分に怒っとんのや何だと俺は自分のことしか考えとらんかったはよここから出なあかんそれしか頭になかったせやからお前らに好き放題させてしもたんや目の前におる殴りたいやつも殴られへんそれで何が極道じゃ何が若頭じゃいや、これは絶対にボスファイトこのシャツが出てくるときに、これはボスファイト見捨てていけるほど俺は人間できてへん治療弟の痛みに体で味をおてもらうで
<笑>やれるもんならやってもらおうじゃねえか久々の喧嘩楽しませてもらうぜさあ楽しもうぜそれはもう一つの。それはもう一つの。それはもう一つの。それはもう一つの。それはもう一つの。それはもう一つの。それはもう一つの。それはもう一つの。それはもう一つの。それはもう一つの。So, I do have to be like, pretty cautious during this boss fight. So, I'm gonna probably take care of his guards or his henchmen first, and then just deal with the main guy. ているこの状況いいのがれできねえぜてこそったがこれで俺の目的は達成できたってことだ何の話俺があんたにちょっかい出してた本当の目的を教えてやろうか西島への復讐じゃないのか復讐なんかじゃねえ俺の目的はな西
一週間前に所長宛に届けられたハガキだ登場会がお前を破門するという旨が書かれた破門状だ刑務所は更生施設罪を犯した人間を更生させるのが本来の目的だ罪に対して十分な更生を態度で示した服役囚には刑期の軽減措置が図られる仮釈放もその一つだ通常服役囚が極道関係者の場合更生を示す最も有効な手立てが組を辞めるということつまり今回のケースもそれにあたるお前ここを出たら登場会の若頭を襲名する予定だったんだろう2年前お前がここに移送されてくる際警察関係者から申し送りがあったそのことが他の囚人にバレないよう配慮してくれとな傷害罪で3年お前ほどの大物がこの手の軽微な罪状で服役する場合の理由は2つだ敵対する第三者にはめられたりなどして現場不在を余儀なくされた場合もしくは逆に自ら身を洗い組織の万全を期すため釘原に暴行を受けても手を出さなかったのは身を洗い一刻も早く組織に戻るためだよなもう破門の見え関係ない今回のことは不問に伏す組を辞めたお前がもうここで無駄に苦しむ必要もないだろうどうした This wasn't exactly the way I imagined Sajima escaping from prison. But as long as we get to escape prison, that's all that matters. Because I do want Sajima to have like a, a normal life outside of prison. He definitely <laughs> どこに行くおい高坂さん仮釈放の件辞退させてもらいますわ何だと破門されて初めて分かった俺はヤクザを続けたかったんやないただ自分が信じた奴らと一緒に降りたかっただけないどの組織におるとか若頭になるとかどうでもいい今はちゃんと罪償うってここ出られるそんだけでいい西島西島の兄貴西島さんその様子やと濡れ衣無事晴れたようやな本当に本当にありがとうございました俺あの本当になんて言ったらいいか礼はええそれより仮釈放の方はどうなったんや認められました副所長が通してくれたようですそうかそれにしても佐江島ずいぶんと早く帰ってきたなあれだけの騒ぎを起こして懲罰貿易じゃなかったのか俺も不問にされたんやあの高坂いう男にね高坂がババちゃんの件といい佐江島さんの件といいいつからあいつそんなに寛大になったんですか They've been seeing the guardian angel phrase quite often as well with Sajima's chapters. I keep noticing it. And I'm like, if that's going to be his new nickname, I, I, I think I'm okay with that. So, what did you say? I don't know. Sajima has done a lot to take care and look after people around him, so. I guess the nickname does work. Hey, 
配達ですは、はい日村これって西島さんがいた組のことですよ、ね、マンチョマン Oh, this is the same thing that k i r i saw as well. マシマゴロシ。This said that マジマは being killed. ハニキコレ。Which again, I still don't believe. No, not until we see a cutscene where it actually happens. Hamontenomo, Konoji can a conquest in Loka. Aniki, so ye Konai, you got to go to work in a Saejima son. Honaji can need an annual Saway. That's by best by Majima son. Yogaji can choose to one of my favorite characters. これ以上騒げば減点対象とするぞす、すみません西島、ババ It's the same reason why はい A good reason why Majima is one of my favorite characters is also the same reason why I have his、uh, back tattoo actually tattooed on me as well わかりました西島、お前もだ Because I cannot say enough good things about Majima Like he's, he's the crazy character but he's the lovable crazy character though呼び出したのはあんたか副所長嘘の理由まで作ってこないな場所を呼び出して一体何の話副所長室では第三者に話が聞かれる可能性もあるからな安全のためだ我慢してくれどういうことです説明してください実は佐江島の仮釈放申請
It also wouldn't surprise me. Imagine we're set up his own death sentence and faked his own death that way. That's something Majima would do. Quickly update my save and then we'll continue with this chapter. So let me check how far we've from leveling up. Let me check. Okay, just over halfway. So we can probably level up, hopefully, by the end of this chapter. If we run into a few more enemy encounters, we'll definitely level up, no problem. で、さっきの話やね。ババちゃんが真島をやったっちゅう北方組の人間やっちゅうのはほんまか。ええ。そうです。でも高坂さん、俺が北方組の人間だったとして、シャバの事件とは関係が。そんなことは分かっている。私が
ついさっきうちの所長が死んだ死因は調査中だが他殺の線が濃厚なようだなんで所長が所長は佐江島の仮釈放が却下された理由を聞くため東京に向かう途中だっただが札幌空港でタクシーから降りたところ何者かに襲撃されたらしいそれだけじゃない今日の午後には新たに100名近くの服役衆が移送されてくる通常では考えられない数字だおそらく何かの目的があって移送されてきた人間に違いないそれって兄貴を殺すための資格ってことじゃ事態は我々が考えるより大きくなっているんだこのままでは確実に西島それにこの件に関わった馬場も殺されることになるだろうそうなる前に何としてもこの危機を回避しなくてはならないせやけどこないなことを許してるあんたのミーモン覚悟の上だ私は職を辞すことに後悔はないそれよりもこの刑務所は公正を促すための施設であり続けることの方が重要だ。サイジマさん、それにババさん、もうあなた方は囚人ではありません。あなたたちは十分に罪を償った。これ以上、私がここであなたたちに公正を促す必要はない。ここから出て、本当の敵、所長を葬った真の敵を見つけてください。深夜、同房の囚人が眠ったのを確認したら、棒を出てください。ゲーム館に命じて、鍵は開けさせておきます。署内を出たら、そのままグラウンドを突っ切って、南西門から脱出してください。その時間なら、釘原たち、他の囚人たちの妨害にも合わないで済むでしょう。わかった。最後に、一つだけ約束してください。何やもし犯人を見つけることができたらその時は決して殺さず必ずその男を生かして刑務所に送ってやってくださいそこから先は私たちの仕事ですから約束するお願いします I also do like how different this is to how we broke out of prison with Sajima and Yakuza 4 This is kind of a completely different scenario. Because we actually get to walk out of prison a free month this time. I don't think I was talking about it. I don't think I was talking about it. I don't think I was talking about it. I do feel bad though that we can't take everyone in this group out of prison with us. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. でもねえこと言うもんじゃねえぞそ,そうですよ。西島の兄貴がそんなことをするわけないじゃないですか。でもあの殺された人、西島さんの親友なんでしょ ?This seems pretty comfortable here, at least. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we'll get to see them on the other side. And not in prison. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we'll get to see them on the other side. And not in prison. So, I'm going to get to see them on the other side. But I'm happy for Sajima though. You know, he gets to escape prison, a free man. I just want to say that I'm a friend of mine. I don't have to be a friend of mine. Then why are you looking for him? I don't want to know. It's also crazy that we're pretty much halfway through Sajima's story already in Yakuza 5. That is if Sajima has four chapters to his story. Like... Previous characters. Sajima's last jail was a metal bench, and that's about it. Here they've got blankets and pillows and cards. Oh, yeah, Sajima's last prison was more of a fortress, more of a torture chamber than anything else. Yeah, that place was horrible. 
殺したやつのせいやない。Yeah, I guess this prison, you know, it's, it's a bit homely. Yeah, it's a bit homely. I'm going to go to the prison. 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 Because I was saying earlier, like, Sajima's got had two separate parts to his first chapter. So I'm wondering if Sajima's going to have, like, a lengthy story in this game, and then other characters might have shorter stories, maybe. We'll just have to wait and see, but, uh, you know, we've got plenty of characters for this game, so it's going to take us a while to get through everyone. Because we've got five different characters, and then of course we've got the final chapter. But I do think they do it pretty well, bringing in new characters and, and multiple chapters for different characters. I think it works much well than it should originally work. Because when I was playing Yakuza 4 for the first time, I realized it was four different characters. It was a little bit overwhelming at first, and then it just worked out really well, really. But I don't think I could ever do a Yakuza game with like six or seven different characters. I think that would be crazy. Oh, we get to do this imaginary thing all over again. get one last story time with this guy before we actually escape prison. So let me check the map. Where do we need to go? Okay, so we go up this street and then turn left. That'll take us to the right place. Oh, it's the girl we met at the hostess club when we did this imaginary scenario the first time. Play darts or play pool? I, I think I'm better at pool than darts. So we'll, yeah, we'll go with that one. It'd be kind of cute if the entirety of Sajima City exploration was imaginary. <laughs> that would be really cool. Yeah. Because like, as weird as this is, I do kind of like this, this imaginary world. It's it's really out there, but then, it is a Yakuza game. And they're always going to have out there moments, so it's something I should be able to get used to. But I'm looking forward to actually going into a new city with Sajima, because I think that's that's also a really cool thing that I'm glad they introduced in Yakuza 5. That each separate character has its own separate city to explore. Like, that's, that's a big deal, and that's a big undertaking, I think. Especially... For how unique that is, I think. Because they could have easily just had all the characters in Kamarucho. Which I think would have got really stale and really boring really quickly. So, them branching out to multiple different places, it's it's really cool. Uh, select the game that I want to play. Nine ball, rotation... We'll go with nine ball. Yeah. Like I said, I think I'm better at pool than I am at darts, but that that's a big... A big if, I because ha I haven't played the pool game in since Yakuza 4, and that was probably the start of that game, so I do know how to play, but I'm not probably not the best at it, 
but yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. So can we skip this tutorial? Was it not? Was it just gonna like tell me how to play all over again? Can we just tell the of course, but after five games, introducing no locales is nice. It's a really cool idea and I I just like the little small updates and upgrades that each Yakuza game has introduced. So with Yakuza 3 it was a, a different city and then you went back to Kamarucho later on. And then in Yakuza 4 it was Kamarucho but they updated different parts to it so there was more kind of uh, areas to go and visit. I know some people complained 3 was a lot of not Kamarucho but I was fine with having Okinawa. Uh, yeah, same really, yeah. I did, I did like Okinawa's town, and I did like how it was designed, because it wasn't too overwhelming to, to explore. Lots of different complaints about Yakuza 3, but the location isn't it. My only complaint with Yakuza 3 is just that the combat is a li feels a little off, just a tiny bit. Like, you get used to it pretty quickly. And I think, although I, d I enjoyed Yakuza 3, like, do not get me wrong, I, I did enjoy Yakuza 3 overall. I think if I had to pick one Yakuza game with the weakest story, or a, a weaker story, it would be Yakuza 3. But that's not a bad thing, because it's, it's still a good game. But out of, out of playing Yakuza 1, well, Yakuza 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, I think 3 stands out as the the one that has the, the weaker story just just because some moments didn't really click with me as much as they should have um but i still enjoyed it anyway they were trying something different as well so i can't really fault them for that so you understand it's a product of its time but man some stuff was rough I mean, my only yeah, my only issues with the combat were the, that enemies could block a lot, and <laughs> that kind of was noticeable. And I think the story kind of took a bit of a, a step backwards in tradition of helping out with the the kids in the orphanage sometimes. I'm trying to think what other issues I had with Yakuza Three. Um, Mainly, I think mainly also the story pacing was just a little bit, like, weird. Especially that one chapter where they just dedicated a full chapter to just explaining the plot. Like, that was so weird. <laughs> so that was something I wasn't used to. Um, but everything else, yeah, I enjoyed. It, it's... Yeah, it's definitely... I agree with you, it's definitely a product of, it, of its time. For a game that came out... I think, was it 2009? It came out in... Unless Yakuza 3's story becomes critical to 6 or 7 somehow, its story could have been skipped entirely and it wouldn't really impact the rest of the greater Yakuza story. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. I think apart from maybe one or two small references in Yakuza 4, I don't think Yakuza 3's story gets mentioned. No, I don't think so. So it was very minor things, I think, that got mentioned, yeah. It, def it definitely just feels like the odd one out in the, the Yakuza series. But I think in a, in a series that's gone so long like the Yakuza series has, you're always going to have that one game that just kind of stands out for the, the, the weird reasons. Put in the Yakuza 4 prologue of Orphanage running and then cut out the rest of Yakuza 3. Yes. Because that, that was the thing that I noticed in Yakuza 3. It would give you some story stuff. Then it would be like, oh, here's, here's some Orphanage stuff. And then that would take like three hours to do. 
and then it would flick back to story stuff again, and it would be like this mi this kind of mix match of orphanage objectives, story objectives, and it didn't really blend too well <laughs> in the end. Not not really. I think also like coming off the coattails of uh, Yakuza Two, that's a lot to live up to because. Yakuza Kiwami 2, especially, is still my favourite Yakuza game, for, for multiple reasons. So I think um, going into Yakuza 3 on a first playthrough, with, with not expecting what the story was going to be about, uh, was definitely a bit of an interesting game to play through, yeah. I need to kind of get this right. Okay, I think I kind of got that as good as I could have. I don't want to hit the, the ball too hard, because that would be terrible. It's also another reason why I'm looking forward to playing Yakuza 6 Like a Dragon, is to see which one I, I highly enjoy the most once they're all finished. I've only heard very good things about Yakuza 6, and then I've heard the, the turn-based combat in Yakuza Like a Dragon is like really, really fun. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Should be a really good time. So we should be able to hit this in no problem, right? Yeah, there we go. Yosha. I'm trying to see which ball I want to go for next. I don't think I could be able to get another one of these in. Also, I just noticed I completely did it out of order. We're supposed to hit ball number four. I mean, I don't think it matters if we fail or successfully finish this minigame. As long as we can just continue the main story. Knowing to hit number, yeah, number six. Uh, yeah. You haven't played six or seven yet, but you're expecting your order is three, four, one, two, five, six, seven, and then zero. Hmm. I'm curious to see how you'll find 6 and 7, yeah. Because I don't know anything about the story for Yakuza 6 or 7. But I've just... The only things I know about 6 is... The Dragon Engine is part of that game. And it's supposed to be Kiru's final game in the series. Which I'm totally okay with because he's had so many games. And then yeah, with Like a Dragon... The only thing I know is the turn-based combat. That's... that's the only thing I know. You're not done with 5 either, but it's doing a lot of things that you like right now. Yeah, so far I've really been enjoying 5. It's been really fun. I don't think I have any bad things to say about Yakuza 5 so far. Like, to me it just feels like the 4th game, but they've just extended and updated certain things just to make it that much better and also the combat feels a lot more like tighter and a, bit, a little bit more better than 4 and that's the first thing I noticed with Yakuza 5 that the, the combat feels pretty much like it does in Yakuza 4 but they've just like slightly tweaked it so it just feels a little bit more improved
That's the Chinese Mafia? I mean, we've had run-ins with the Chinese Mafia before in previous Yakuza games. Yakuza 4 polishes up Yakuza 3's edges, and Yakuza 5 polishes up Yakuza 4, which is kind of how you would expect it. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I mean, that's one thing I noticed, which I immediately liked about Yakuza 4, that the combat system felt more accessible. And then, yeah, with 5, it's just, it's just 4 just updated, pretty much. I think that's also like the, the key thing to get right in a Yakuza game. Like if you if you don't get the combat right in a Yakuza game, that's a big chunk of the game that you might not enjoy. So I'm, I am glad that they've always either changed it or improved it or tried the best to make it as, as good as possible. Like even for Yakuza 3, like, you know, the combat is very hit or miss. But I, I didn't mind it in the end. It, 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 it wasn't like it stopped me from playing Yakuza 3. It was just hard to get used to it at first. But I'll probably go back to Yakuza 3 eventually and, and try and get a, quite a few achievements in that game. Because it's not too difficult to get trophies and achievements for. I mentioned going back to the karaoke bar, but we don't, we don't want to do that just yet. I think I think I want to pretty much get through this chapter or get to the main city hub world for Sajima. Because I think that would be a, be a pretty good place to end the stream. So yeah, once we finish up this imaginary scenario, we'll then get out of prison. And then once we reach the actual hub world, then I'll update my save game. Yakuza 3 completion is miserable almost entirety because of the need to be expert pool AI. It's like if you miss one shot and then they proceed to sink five balls in a row. Oof. Man, that sounds rough, yeah. I mean I, I'm not I'm not the best pool player in Yakuza anyway, so that would be a nightmare for me. That's another thing, I don't know if I would ever want to finish Yakuza 3 on the hardest difficulty. I feel like that would be a nightmare as well. Like I would probably get some of the easier achievements and then probably just call it a day and, and not attempt any of the harder ones. Because I've never 100% of the Yakuza game, ever. Like, I think I tried to do that with Yakuza 0, and then when I noticed how much content there was in that game, I think I just gave up. <laughs> that, that feels like it takes a lifetime to 100% that. Yeah, also, let me check the map to see where we're going. Okay, so we just go down this street. This little alley. Also, need to check after this cutscene if we can actually level up. Or if we're close to leveling up. Because I think we've got. Well, we've got plenty of enemies to fight, I think. Legend in most games isn't as bad as it sounds, since you just use New Game Plus and roll over everyone with your max levels, and ideally a golden gun. I never actually thought of that, actually. 
Yeah, maybe, you know what, maybe I'll actually give Yakuza 3 a go on the hardest difficulty. Because New Game Plus is going to be a saviour, definitely. I, I know about the Golden Gun item as well. Yeah, maybe one day I'll try it, maybe. Okay, so, about halfway from where I went up. I think once we take care of all these enemies, we should probably have enough experience to level up. I don't think these guys are going to give us too much of a problem as well. I'm just going to keep using that move just to ram into everyone. Man, you went fine. <laughs> Yakuza 0 Force is a proper new game, so it's kind of sort of hard, unless you have uh, overpowered strats. And Yakuza 1 has a driving section that needs near perfect play. I totally forgot about the, the driving section in Yakuza 1. But I remember, I think when I did Yakuza 0 on the hard difficulty, I think I failed the driving section for that on my first attempt. But I think zero, going back to Yakuza 0 will be fun, but I've played that game so many times now that I know the, the main story inside out. I also like think once I've got my backlist of other games down, I'll probably replay the Yakuza games again in the near future. There's overpowered strats in Yakuza 0 so it ends up being very easy. But it also has the driving section. Yeah. Now that you reminded me about the driving sections, I, I, I think I kind of blanked those out of my brain. And it's like, oh god, no. Now, now I remember them. I feel like the, the easiest Yakuza game to probably, like, play on the hardest difficulty would be Kiwami 2. Because Kiwami 2 I have no problems with. Like, that game to me is really easy. I don't know if it's the Dragon Engine, I don't know if it's just... The game overall isn't that difficult. But yeah, I remember having no issues with that. I still kind of feel bad for Sajima now, because he has to say goodbye to these guys. But it's for the greater good though, because we can't be locked up in this prison forever. The easiest I'm on uh, counter is in Yakuza 3, since you can more or less fight him like a beefy normal enemy. But every other I'm on you need crazy strats for. I've, I don't think I've ever attempted to fight Amon in any of the games. Like I've seen gameplay of people fighting him but I've never done it myself.
まそん時はそん時でしょ大丈夫きっとあの二人もそれでも逃げ出せますって It also looks like we have to fight our way out of prison. They didn't. They did just mention all the new inmates. Oh yeah, we're definitely fine our way out of prison. And of course, of course it was him. If this gives us another reason to kick you, this guy's ass again. I'm totally down for it. I'm getting heavy flashbacks to Yakuza 4 because this is now a similar scenario. We broke out of prison by having to fight our way out of there as well. I guess some things just don't change with Sajima. Baba-chan. Hi. ユンじゃないですかね。高坂さんなら。そうか。よう聞け。お前らは殺さん。その代わり、この世には死ぬより辛い生き方があるっちゅうこと。その体に教えたるわ。Well, before we do anything, let me update. Yeah, let me upgrade my abilities. So let me read this message. Uh, I'm on Drusel quite interesting. You think you're a god with max levels and fancy gear, and then he pulls out a full auto rocket launcher. That does 9% of your HP. Yeah, I would have to, I would have to have a couple of guides for that, because that would drive me nuts having to fight that. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's a reason why I never had tried to fight him in a, in a Yakuza game. Because <laughs> that sounds like I mean, it sounds like fun, but that also sounds like a massive challenge. Let me see what abilities I can upgrade. I'll learn. Boost your health maximum value. Okay, well, we're definitely going to need that then. Carry your enemy over to a wall, then perform a heroic throw. Well, that's the only ability we can learn, so I may as well learn it. I think that's a Yakuza Kalami 2 thing as well, so you can squeeze some difficulty out of that one. I'll definitely give it a go in Yakuza Kalami 2, because I think that would be the, the Yakuza game I would feel more 
at home with, having to fight like tougher enemies. And also it gives me another reason to replay that game, because I absolutely love Yakuza Kwame 2, so... And I'm never going to say no to replaying it. And we've only got one health item with us, well I better make sure I make that count. I'm just surprised how many enemies they managed to put on one screen. That's a lot of people. I think the Elm fights in Yakuza Kwame 2 are actually the hardest as you think back on it. I think after after I finish up the stream I'll probably check that stuff out before the end of tonight. Because I'm kind of curious to see how people go about fighting him. But I, I do know like Amon is one of the hardest anyways. Yeah. I think I've seen I remember seeing somebody fight him in Yakuza 0. I think it was Yakuza 0 anyway. Um, but I don't remember all the details of it, so yeah, I'll probably check it out later on actually. Just to kind of like see how it actually is. I mean, I know Sajin was strong, but holy shit, he just, he just picked up a massive fight. Giving us free health drops. We could take care of him. So I think did we level up again? Oh yeah, we did. Okay, that's good. Now level nine, is I think we were level three when we started today. So yeah, we've been leveling up pretty quick. to the southwest exit. Pretty sure we're gonna have to fight the, the bald guy though before we leave the prison. I mean, so far these enemies aren't really a massive problem for us, and we are getting quite a lot of experience from them, so... Yeah, this isn't going too bad, actually. Considering, like, how outnumbered we actually are. Level one up a second time. I 
to allows you to pick the enemy's guard with certain attacks. Yeah, we'll definitely go on that skill. I think yeah, the rest of the skills require two soul orbs. Yeah, okay. So next time we level up, we'll be able to unlock something new. Hey, there he is. There's only a matter of time before we have to keep this guy's ass down again. Right, let me level up before we actually attempt this. Seeing as we've got plenty of health items. I think I'll do the same strategy as I did last time. It's just focus on his henchmen. Looking more and more like Voldemort. It kind of does actually, yeah. Now that you brought that up. And this, I mean, this guy's gonna look unrecognizable when we're done with him. Now we just get to bully this guy because it's a two on one. So I have no idea what we're about to do. Okay, yeah, that was pretty cool. He punched the ground so hard that it made him fly in the air. <laughs> okay, so there is a free health item over there, so let me quickly go and grab that. I hope we never have to see this guy again. So not I mean, he gets what he deserves. Ato no shuri wa jibun desu. Kiru nari yaku nari shitaru. Iki no koru hoho kura yaru yaro. And this is Sajima giving this guy mercy. And we're pretty much just murdering his arm. Omae wa gokudo wa aite ni senso o fukkake tan ye. Kon kurai no kakugo dekitotta hazu yaro. Eh? 
Hey. I mean, at this point, we pretty much just gave that guy a fate worse than death. Because his arm's completely crippled. So this guy's just making a massive mistake. I'm like, at this point, just, just stay down. Okay, so relief. I thought for a second that he was going to be the mastermind of this. And for a split second, I was like, is he, is he going to be at the next film? どうにか一命は取り留められそうだって。ほんまか。ほら、大島の屋さん、隠れて薬溜め込んで、他の囚人に回してたりしてたでしょ。あれ、昔の癖なんですって。なんか若い頃は医者もかじってたみたいですよ
Yeah, I need to avoid all these trees. So we actually take quite a bit of damage if we bump into anything. And obviously we don't have any weapons on this, so... Which would kind of play us a little bit safe. I say that as I jump into all the trees. So far, I think I'm doing okay with this. We have lost a bit of health though. Yeah, I, I didn't know if we damaged the vehicle so much that we couldn't speed. We were like driving pretty slow. Like we got out of one dangerous scenario and then we got thrown into another dangerous scenario. Sajima just can't catch a break. He's just going for all of it right now. So the guy did mention a bear. Oh shit, yep, that, that's a bear. to actually face a bear <laughs> as a boss fight. I mean, we, we did fight two lions in Yakuza 2, so it's not the first time we're fighting the animal. So, like, 
This this guy's got a lot of health. Like a lot of health. So I need to be like really cautious about this. Although like how do you go about fighting a bear? That's my question. <laughs> Yogi. <laughs> Yeah, Yogi the Bear. It's Yogi the Bear on steroids. He then ate more steroids. <laughs> like, the size of this bear, man. It's crazy. Okay, well, thankfully he isn't, like, insanely aggressive. Oh my god, no, no! Bear, stop! Stop! Yo, he's eating it! Yo, I gotta heal. Yo. <laughs> I'm actually intimidated by this bear. Cause like I need to like chip away this health bit by bit, but man, this this is a scary boss fight. Like, I'm like give me give me a Yakuza villain, not a giant bear. What, yeah, what was that in those picnic baskets? Gro I think growth serum. Might have been in there. Okay, I'm just gonna hit him twice at the front and then like hit him in the back, I think. I'm so glad we avoided that. Like not having any weapons or like not a lot of health items is actually kind of intimidating. I'm like, I'm fighting a bear right now. Like, I think I can only get like two or three hits in before he attacks me back. A Superman punch of bear? Oh no, I failed, I failed it. I'm kind of disappointed in myself that we failed that. I, I wanted to see a Superman punch of bear right, right in the face. Oh man, let me heal before we uh, continue this. We've got plenty of soul orbs out of that, but uh. Man. <laughs> so if you told me today we're going to be fighting a giant bear, I would not believe you. But hey, here we are, I guess. We're fighting a giant bear. I think so far that was probably the, the most toughest <laughs> boss fight I've had so far. Like, it wasn't difficult, difficult, but it was more intimidating and the yeah. lack of health items and not figuring out his attack patterns oh, made that fight a little bit, uh, a little bit tense.
Also, where was this guy like five minutes ago when we needed him? Makes you appreciate our bare boxing ancestors. It it definitely does, yes. <laughs> that was the end of chapter two. Chapter three. Frozen Frozen Raw. It's a pretty good name for a chapter. I also realized we're still not in a main city hub. Yeah, we're already on chapter three. あんたが助けてくれたんか。ひどい投資だ。まだ動かん方がいい。下手に動くと投資部位の組織を傷つけてしまう恐れがある。しばらく安静にしていることだ。ババは。もう一人男がおらんかったか。探しに行かな。<
Uh, furthermore, your health will recover while at hideouts. Small little village over here. Let me check the map out for this place. Oh, it's actually really small. Okay, let me upgrade that ability. And I guess we can put some skill points into the soul, because we've only got that up to level four. ちょっと。もう最近じゃ、またぎなんて言葉知らないものも多いだろうがな。ここは昭和の前からまたぎを新入り手誰よ。俺らと着の綿木は迷惑してるんだ。で、あんたは奥寺藩の何を気にしとるんや。いや、奥寺が今朝また山に入ったって言うんでな。もしかしたらあの化け物が出たんじゃないかと。化け物山おろしって言われる we definitely know about this man, but we had to face it head on. I'm also going to presume that's not going to be the first time we have to fight that bear. I don't know if that bear is going to So we're stuck here. Uh, well, the road is snowed over you, so you're stuck here for a while. We don't have TV, there's no radio reception, and we don't get newspapers. You'll probably be pulled out of your skull. Anta, Saejima san da ne. Nande ore no namae o. Okudera san ni tanomarete de na. もし 
例の巨大グマにかああ当時奥寺さんには同じ家に住んでいたパートナーの佐藤という漁師がいてなその佐藤が山下ろしを追って逆に山下ろしにこの集落を襲わせる原因を作っちまったのさなんやと9年前のある日佐藤は山下ろしの噂を聞きつけ関心狩りに出て行っちまったそうあの日もふぶいていた日だったなそれでどうなったんや狩りは失敗佐藤は行方不明あとを追いかけた奥寺さんも重傷を負ったもしかしてもしかしてもしかしてもしかしてもしかしてもしかしてもしかしてもしかしてもしかしてもしかしてもしかしてもしかしてもしかしてもしかし備蓄していた食料はすべて山下ろしに食い尽くされることになったこの集落で生きるマタギにとっちゃ冬は恐怖との戦いでな一年かけて蓄えた食料を失うことは死を意味する本当あの年の冬は生きるか死ぬかの瀬戸際だったよそないなことがそれ以来だ奥寺さんがこの集落から孤立するようになったのは毎年冬になると山下ろしのことを追いかけて吹雪の強い日に狩りに出かける他の漁師の都合なんてお構いなしもしかしたら奥寺さんは山下ろしを追いながら9年前の復讐を果たそうとしているのかもしれないなそれやったら今日もいや今日は野暮用があると言っていたな山下ろしの餌を探さなきゃならんとか言っていたがまあいろいろと余計なことを話しちまったがあんたが雪山に向かっても足手元になるだけだここは素直に家に戻ってもらえないかいや、追ってはおけん。奥寺藩は俺の命の恩人や。それに俺も、仲間を一人、雪山に残してきたままなんや。<笑>なるほどな。聞いてた通りの男だな。うん奥寺さんからもう一つ言われてたんだ。多分あの男は止めても聞かない。ならせめて、雪山に裸で飛び込まないよう指導してやってくれとな。なんやと。奥寺さんが。ああ。何の予備知識もなしに突っ込んでいくよりはマシだろうってことだ。で。まずは何から準備したらいいんや。まずは服装だが。あんたは狩りに行くわけじゃない。防寒着としてはとりあえず今の格好でいいだろうなるほどねとなるとあとは2つ万が一の時のための食料それに地図だどうやって手に入れたらいい地図は俺が用意する問題は食料だどこの家も自分のとこで食うのに精一杯だからなそらそうやろな俺が地図を書き上げるまでの間自分の力で当座の食料を確保してきたらどうだ事情を話せば分けてくれる人間もいるかもしれない分かった何とかするわはいそれから行くのに食べるのに食べるのに食べるのに Feel about this chapter so far. I mean, it's different from the prison scenario, but it's a little bit slower paced. This chapter, like, things have kind of taken a bit of a backseat with the, the main story, I think. I feel like we're definitely gonna run into 
a lot of bears, definitely. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see where this chapter goes, because I'm, I'm going to take a wild guess and say we're probably going to have to fight the bear again. And then once we've helped these villagers with that situation, then we'll hopefully get back on track with the main story. I'm just kind of hoping this doesn't take too long to get through this. So it just feel like the, the main story is kind of taking a back seat for now. We shouldn't get too involved. See, I don't want to get too involved with these, these villagers, to be honest. I kind of just want to finish up what we have to do here and then be on our way forward. Nishina. <laughs> この収録の代表をしとる食料を探し求めていたから。どういうことで。すでに聞いているかもしれませんが、9年前奥寺さんは友人の漁師さんを追いかけて山へと入っていきました。でもあの日は数メートル先も見えないような吹雪の日、食料もなしに山に飛び込
uh, Baba was his name? I think that was the guy's name. The guy we escaped prison with. A bear-shaped cloud? Yeah, it's a bear-shaped cloud. <laughs> that's that's probably what's going to curse these villagers. Because I, I still think the villagers look up to this bear as like, oh, it's a god, it's a spirit of some sort. I'm also hoping we get to face the bear one more time. Because it, it was a fun boss fight. Stick to the mountains trailhead today. That's plenty to start with. Yeah, the last thing I need is to get lost in this little area. Because I have no idea where we're going. Trailhead closer to the village, that's where you start ascending. And you should take the path where you're coming back as well. Winding blue line is M Mito, Mato River. Just walk your way up along it and you won't get lost. Eh? I'm definitely ready to head up this mountain. That was his name, Baba. Yeah. So we need to save him. Although I don't think it's going to be that simple as to just save him. We're probably going to have to go through a lot of other situations to get him out of trouble. On the mountain, the cold drains your health over time and start by eating food. If your health gets too low, open up the pause menu and consume an item that restores it. We've got to stick to the river. Also, our, our health doesn't decay too low over time. Maybe it's just because we've got so much health, so it shouldn't be. A too much of a problem. As long as I don't get lost in this location, then yeah, we should be okay. Because the guy just said just to stick to the river at all times. And as long as we don't encounter any of the wild animals on our way up here. I guess we just gotta follow the bear tracks as well. Also, I thought for a second then that was a human over there. Because <laughs> from a distance it looked like it looks like a human. Now we need to follow the blood trail. So we're getting closer then. Cue the wild animals. <laughs> Oh no, please. I mean, I could do the experience points, but if we have to deal with like a ton of wild animals, mm, if there's anything like that bear encounter, that's that's going to be tricky. Mama-chan! Oku-deru-han! Nani shini kita? Baba wo tasuke ni kita? Also just got it's one bear, not multiple. Nani shini kita? 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 Nani shini kita?
あんたも怪我しとるやないか<笑>まさか山おろしにやられたんかうかつだった俺も置いてしまったようだなそれよりその男を頼む分かった怪我はひどいがまだ息はあるすぐに集落まで運ぼうああ早速血の匂いを嗅ぎつけてきやがったなすぐにここにやってくるぞ。やつをお前はその男を早く集落に連れて帰るんだせやけどあんたもその傷 I mean, I don't agree with this plan, but I, I guess I guess Baba's condition comes first I'm also surprised Baba's still alive because it looks like he took a mauling from that bear I'm also glad that we don't have to go all the way back. The game just does that for us. Okudera Han, Bujiataka. Ah, Nantokana Hakena Osokatabun, Ante Rijushoda Daga, Mucha or Sasena Kereba Daijo. She better can't say any Sasate, okay. そういえばあのヒグマをどないしたんや仕留めたんかいや吹雪が強くなってきてなあれ以上深追いしたら戻ってこれない状態だったそうか集落の人に聞いたんやけどあんた山おろしのこととなると人変わるらしいや山おろしカルンに人生かけとるって話やけどなんか理由でもあるんか狩りってのはな生きるためにすること人間の生存本能なんだ俺たち人間は何千年も前から動物を殺しその肉を食べて生きてきたこの鍋の肉もそう俺が買った動物の肉だ食べるために殺し殺したから責任を持って食べ尽くすそれが狩猟だだが俺にとってあのヒグマは狩るのが目的じゃないほな何なんやただの殺戮俺はあのヒグマを殺すために追いかけている思えば人間というのは不思議な生き物だ。憎いという理由で人を簡単に殺す。自分が生きるために仕方なくというわけじゃない。だからこそ、それは罪として裁かれるべきことだし、それを償うために刑務所があるんだ。だが、人を殺したことを悔い改め、刑務所を出ていく人間はごくわずかだ。ほとんどのやつは自分がやったことは仕方がないことだと割り切る開き直って生きている殺すというのは食べるためのそして身を守るための殺し以外全てが勝手なものでしかない殺人者が何を言おうとただの詭弁に過ぎないということだあんた俺が刑務所出てきたこと知っとって席をしてんのかそれが自分の過去話してるんかどっちどっちでもないただ俺があのヒグマにこだわるのは個人的な恨みがあるからだつまり俺はただの殺しをするためだけにここにいるという話だなさあ話は終わりだ殺した者として
責任を持ってこの肉を食ってやろうじゃないか。Uh, 1000 experience points? I don't know where that experience points came from, but hey, I'll take it. It helps us level up faster. Baba! Aniki! お前もう動いて平気なんか<笑>ええなんとかそうかすんません兄貴足引っ張るようなことになってしまって俺のことはええそれよりお前を助けてくれた人に礼を言うんやなそうなんですか一体誰に奥寺藩中漁師のおっちゃんやここは山の中にある漁師の集落やそうだったんですかまだ完全に回復しとらんあまり喋らん方がいい今はゆっくり休みはい迷惑かけてすんませんちょっと待ってるや奥寺藩にお前が目覚ましたことを伝えに行かな I'm also kind of thinking if I should save my game here and then continue the rest of this chapter next time, or if I should just finish this chapter right now today. Because I don't know how much longer this chapter is going to be for, but I can't imagine it's going to be extremely long if we're just going to spend it in the village. So, I don't know, I might, I might finish this chapter. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think we'll finish this chapter for today. And then on the next stream, we'll do the last part of Sajiman's story. Because I can't imagine this chapter is going to go on for like forever. So I'm kind of hoping, you know, once we get done with this bear situation, that'll just be the end of it. So far, this chapter, I'm not really feeling it. It's it's not terrible. But I think it's just a big distraction from the overall main story that I'm, I'm just not into it as much as the last chapter. So I kind of do want to get this chapter done and out of the way as quick as possible, I think. Hey, hey. Also, thank you for the follow, Calico Cross. I appreciate it. Also, thank you for just being really talkative today.、Um, especially because this is my first stream in a few days. So, yeah, I really appreciate it. You've been really like, good company. So,、uh, thank you. Yeah. Like, it's been really good to like, talk to another Yakuza fan as well. So, yeah, I appreciate it. I was also like, not expecting for me to stream this long, to be quite honest. I, I only planned on streaming for like two hours, but、uh, Yakuza 5 has been really good. And I've had some really good company today on stream, so yeah, I think you know, we'll finish up this chapter and then that'll be the last thing I'll do for today. Seeing as it is also getting quite late over here. But it's been a fun time though. You've、gotta be here for the next chapter. Well, thank you, I appreciate that, especially you know, because yeah, I hadn't.、Um, streams have been a little bit infrequent this month because a lot of real life stuff has happened, so I have wanted to like stream as much as I could over the, the next few days.、Um, but yeah, no, today's stream has been really chill, really fun. So,、uh, yeah, like I said, I, I always appreciate anyone who stops by, it really means a lot. I also、um, don't have a stream schedule, and that's something I've wanted to figure out for the last year and a half now. So I would say the best place, there's some pretty good places to follow me, like social wise.、Um, I think all my social links are on my info page on my, on my、uh, Twitch channel. So 
um, those are probably the best places to like ever message me or contact me or, or know when the next stream is because um, yeah like I said streams have been a little bit all over the place this month it's been a bit of a crazy month to be quite honest but I, I do try and get out two or three streams a week if possible And most of the streams are mostly focusing around Yakuza. Um, cause that's the, the, I started Yakuza series back in October of last year. So every month or so we'll play another Yakuza game and, and get through that series. So that's kind of my main series at the moment. And then we'll, we'll play the odd game on stream as well, which isn't Yakuza related. Deer meat. Let me check my inventory actually. Okay, we've got two pieces of deer meat, we've got a few ointment health items. So we've got plenty of item space. How far am I away from leveling up? Uh, oh no, we've got quite a lot of experience before we can level up again. Long term running with the Yakuza's? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. It's, um. Because, like, I, I played Yakuza 0, 1, and 2 off stream, and then I just wanted to just play through the entire series, and then uh, play through, you know, the rest of the games in the series, so. But yeah, it's been a really good time. Because I normally try and do one big story heavy game, and then just do, like, a side game every now and then, um, which isn't a story heavy. So it's kind of been working out pretty well, yeah. But I've got plenty of other games lined up for the rest of this year. Plenty of stuff lined up. Because my backlist of unplayed games is uh, extremely out of control at the moment, so... I'm kind of working my way through games that came out like three or four years ago. guys I've got one rifle and I'm a hunter we never allow ourselves to be without a gun I don't think we really need a gun from this guy I mean we did pretty much fight a giant bear just using our fists so I don't know if we need a gun I guess we need, we do actually need to talk to him. You know, the feeling uh, every time you open up the Steam to see your unplayed library, your, li your unplayed library list stares back at you. I'm glad you uh, feel the same way. Yeah, that's kind of what it's been like for me. It's, it's just because uh, there's been so many big game releases in the last few years that I've just fallen behind so quickly. That, um, yeah, I'm playing catch up. I'm pretty much playing catch up with everything at the moment. Like, um, for anime, I'm catching up on a lot of anime that came out like five or six years ago. And then for like gaming stuff, I'm catching up. So yeah, just basically playing catch up with everything at the moment. It's it's a little bit hectic. Like at the moment off stream, I've been playing 
I just started playing Assassin's Creed Origins, and that game came out years ago, and I only just started playing that. And of course, Yakuza 5, which came out quite a long time ago, so... Yeah, you know, I'm slowly working my way through games that came out year by year, but uh, it's going to take me a while, definitely. And then there's other games that I, I definitely want to go back and replay sometime in the future, so... Yeah, you know, I'm just keeping myself as busy as I can nowadays. Oh, you just finished the main story for Origins? Oh, nice! Yeah, it's, I, I don't have a lot of experience playing the Assassin's Creed games. Um, years ago, and I'm talking a long time ago, I played Assassin's Creed 2 and uh, couldn't get really into it. I wasn't a big fan of it, so um, playing Origins was a big jump. But yeah, so far I'm liking Origins, but I only just started it last week, so I'm only five or six hours in. So yeah, I've got plenty of stuff to do in that. But yeah, I do like it. The combat's pretty good. The uh, skill system's interesting. Yeah, I don't mind it. But like I said, it's it's a game that I, it's going to take me a good like three or four months to finish, I imagine. In terms of anime, uh, you just finished the big Studio Ghibli films, so I'm way back on there. I've only seen a few Studio Ghibli films myself, so yeah, I'm I'm also behind on their stuff. Yeah, and their stuff came out, what, like 20 years ago? Maybe 30 years ago at this point? Yeah, there's just a lot of modern anime that I'm really behind on. It's... Yeah, there's so much good stuff that comes out that I just forget about it. I do think this year for, like, game releases is a lot more quieter than last year, so... I'm not too worried about this year in terms of big game releases. Also, we really need to sort out this village scenario, because things are getting way out of hand with these villages. So, yeah, the sooner we get done with this, the better. Well, we tried talking to them, and that didn't work. So I guess we just need to go back and talk to the other guy we spoke to. Especially if you aren't a big Dark Souls fan, you aren't missing much this year. I, I've i kind of a bit of a love and a hate relationship with Dark Souls. Um, I do eventually want to get around to playing Elden Ring, eventually. Um, but I'm not in any big rush to play it right away, definitely not. Um, yeah, I think I... The only Souls games I haven't played yet are Bloodborne and Sekiro. Um, but played through the, uh, the Dark Souls series... Also, yeah, I haven't played Demon's Souls either. Um, I'm hoping the Demon's Souls remake comes to PC. You know, I I'm wishing and praying that Bloodborne will come to PC one day. Um, but yeah, with Elden Ring, I can kind of wait on it for a few more months. Yeah. Eh? Like, it's one of those games that I'll, I'll eventually pick it up, but right now it's like, eh, I I've got too many other games to play. It's not, it's not on my top priority list. Although I am hearing like really good things about it though. We got simple cold wear. So we've got a new... 
We've got some new clothes, I guess. We've got a, a double rifle. This will be our second time up this mountain. When heading to the mountain, you get a special snow gear bag that holds gear and supplies specifically for that trip. Check the equipment screen before you set off. To bring an item with you to the mountain, move it to the snow gear bag. Deer meat would be good to bring, so don't forget to put that in the snow gear bag. If you cancel an Elton to the mountain, any items you already put in the bag will be moved to the item box. Okay, so we need to... Let's see, uh, how do we do this? Okay, so we want to put the deer meat in there. Okay, I think we've done this correctly. Because it would only let me select the deer meat, we couldn't bring the other health items. Let me check it. That I did this. Yeah, okay, yeah, we did do it correctly. So we've got 50 shells for the shotgun, so I need to make sure we make these count. I'm thinking if they're going to give us 50 shells, we definitely have to have another boss fight with the, the giant bear. I'm learning the basics on how to hunt. I mean, this shouldn't be too difficult, I imagine. Keys to make yourself small and quiet. Uh, you just crouch down and creep forward. Press uh, B to crouch. By moving in this position, your prey is less likely to notice you. can only heal two rounds at a time so don't waste shots or your prey will happily escape while you're reloading. Some mallows will even retaliate, they'll come right up and attack you. <laughs> so try not to miss. Uh, aim very carefully before you pull the trigger. Oh, sorry, God, I nearly shot him then, that would have been terrible. The 
principal idea is to creep as close as you can to the prey, aim for its head and then drop it with a single shot. Be wary of bears, if you shoot at one and miss, it will definitely come after you. I don't think you can beat one in a fist fight. <laughs> now you know the basics, the rest you'll learn through practice. Uh, let's try hunting deer today. Gotta show that boulder who's boss, yeah. I've played Resident Evil, I know how to defeat boulders. I also think this chapter is gonna be a lot, lot more longer than I expected it to be. Especially because the introducing us on how to hunt. I think there might be like multiple challenges to that and stuff. I take it the bear destroyed this then. Yeah. There are a number of flat, uh, flattened huts on the mountain. If fixed with a hut repair kit, a hunting hut. It's a bit of a mouthful to say out loud. A hunting hut will be usable as a checkpoint. If you fail a mission you can restart the mission at the hut you last visited. Rest at a hunting hut to restart any mission and just like a hideout the hut restores health over time. If you become too weak to continue you can make an emergency return to the village from any hunting hut. However if you do this you will lose all items obtained during the outing as well as any mission progress. can and should sell items you acquire on the mountain, your only source of income in the village is what you manage to hunt, trap and harvest. Okay, let me check which way we need to go. Okay, this way. You may find animal tracks on the mountain, follow them to locate prey. Press LT to signal your NPC companion. The two commands. Okay. I don't know if we'll necessarily need to use them. Keep an eye out for any deer because I don't see any just yet. But I also don't want to go barging in just yet as well. if we can shoot that. Okay, maybe I'll do it later. So I'm, think I'm thinking like if they're gonna have any items inside them or not.
Tag the one that presents you with the best shot. If you fail game with just one bullet, if you hit its head, try sneaking up on your target quietly and dropping it with one headshot. I mean, easier said than done. I, I, I'd be surprised if I get this done in one attempt. This could be a little bit difficult to get right. Especially because we need to get close to them, but not like too close. Can from the kill. Walk up to the animal you shot to collect parts of his carcass. <laughs> Meat taken of the carcasses is precious, and some animal parts can restore health. At the very least, they can fetch good prices, so don't forget to collect them. Always keep an eye out on your health. If it drops to zero, all the items and mission progress you made during your current mountain outing will be lost. Check. Where do we need to go next? Okay, I think we can just go back to the village then. So I definitely don't want to spend too long doing this. I kind of want to do the most minimum work as possible in terms of like hunting for animals. So we can get done with this chapter. We've got deer antler and we've got the deer hide. Now I can actually check if there is anything inside these or not. Okay, no. It doesn't even break. No. See, a part of me thought like it was made out of like clay or some pottery of some kind. So I was like, oh, maybe you can just shoot it and there'll be an item inside, but nope. So it would have been cool if that was the case, but at least we, we gave it a go anyway. That's all that matters. If you collect an item on the mountain and want to use it elsewhere, move it to your inventory when you return to the village. Upon return, items you collected on the mountain are moved to the item box. Transfer the ones you want to use to your inventory. We've got 2,000 experience points for that as well. actually go back to my item box because I know we did just put everything in there oh there we go see so yeah, I want to put all these items in there put 
update our game as well. And now I think we just need to give the deer meat to one of the villagers. Do we go back to the hut that we just came from? Yeah, I think we do, yeah. もどったか。よう済んだのか。ああ。そっか。なら次は罠寮に行く。うさぎを取ってババに生をつけさせてやろう。すみません、兄貴。俺のためにわざわざ。ああ。任せとけ。くくりわなは俺の方で用意しておいた。サイジマ。でも、この Thanks for being meet with us, just in case we need it. I'm also still trying to get used to Sajima in a hunting gear setup. It, it still looks a little bit odd. Especially because he's had so many different, like, apparent, apparent changes in the, the last, like, few chapters. Like, he went from having long hair, and then he went to being bald in prison, and now he's got his hunting gear on. We have to use different traps of different animals, so they will catch rabbits. Traps are reusable, but they can break. Just repair them if that happens. Each time you use a trap, it gets a little less durable. If the durability drops to zero, it will break. Use a repair kit to repair it.
There are many trap sites on the mountain, but the best ones are whenever there are lots of animal tracks. So if you find a site, check that area for tracks. Also notice we're walking through the snow a lot quicker, because I think we unlocked that skill during our last hunt. So I should definitely save on having to use any deer meat to get our help, our help up at any point. That's why I see all these glowing items as well. Any trap sites you find will be automatically marked on the map. Any traps you set will appear on the map to recover them along with any game that was caught, simply walk up to the trap sites. Use different traps for a different game, find trap sites and set traps that are at those spots. After a trap is set, leave it alone. Always collect trapped game. Whenever it's going to give me the option to just set traps, I think I'm just going to go ahead with that so we can try and get as many animals as possible. your health when you're on the mountain you need to eat food to keep up your strength if things start looking bad don't push your luck i mean the guy's worried about our health but i feel like we we don't have to worry about it because our hp like doesn't decay that quick so i'm glad we don't really have to micromanage our health too much. And I think I'll set one more trap up here. If it'll let us. Oh no, okay, it doesn't let us. I think we've done everything that I need to do for this location then. Oh, 
is the best. I don't know if that's the same bed that we fought last time. We can't outrun or kill him. I mean, we can, we can try. So don't even try, just concentrate on fending him off. And you can shoot the bear, so... I think we finished. Oh no, we didn't finish our reload animation. うまい、うまいっすかね、これ。え、でも、なんつうか、牛肉っぽくない味ですよね。あんまりうまいもんやないな。うさぎの味としか言いようがあらへん。あ、でも、栄養はありそうです。だいぶ体力も戻ってきた
Let's see if the road into town is clear yet. So that's our next objective. We're about to see a guy who apparently does magic and looks like a sage and lives in a shrine of some sort. Sorcerer in a mountain shrine. I mean, I'm kind of curious to check that out. So we need to try and find two missing people. Yeah. So we've got two different things we can do. We can even find the missing villagers or go and talk to this crazy person who lives in a shrine. I do want to go down this way and see this shrine location. Okay, let me try that again. Because I, I, it looked like we could go inside that building. Also, when they said it was a shrine, I wasn't expecting it to be like a normal, like, hut. I thought it was actually going to be a shrine shrine. was added. I'm hoping that's the main story mission and not just a side mission because I, now I don't know which is which to be quite honest. The road is finally open again. You'll need to watch yourself if you travel on it. Uh, people are saying Yamaoshi is nearby. So does that mean we can actually just, like, leave now? So I would prefer if we could just leave, instead of doing all this other stuff. How was it? すぐにでも町へ降りるといい。せやけど 
大丈夫なんか山おろしがまだ山ん中うろついてるんやろそれはこの俺の問題だお前が気にすることじゃない聞いてもいいか何をだあんたが山おろしを追い続ける理由へそれこそお前が気にせることじゃない放っておいてくれそうかけどいつかは話してもらうであんたと俺は似たところがあるそんな気がするわ<笑>好きにしろこのまま月見の絵急ぐのもいいしなんなら山へ狩りに出てもいいどちらかが、yeah. 俺に人が来れば、the village town、yeah. I can keep continuing hunting。I mean, I know what decision I want to make。Need to go to town with Baba and, and get out of this place。行くのか。ああ。せやけど、また戻ってくるかもしれんで。あんたが山おろしを狙う理由、まだ聞いてへんからな。<笑>好きにしろ。ほんま世話になったわ。あんたがおらんかったら、俺もバ,バも今頃熊の餌へ。本当にありがとうございました。あんたらがどうしてこんな山奥で遭難したのかは聞かないといてやる。これから町に降りて何をしようとしているのかも興味はないだがこれだけは忘れるな生き物にとって狩りと身を守ることだけが許される殺しだ分かったな肝に銘じとくわ兄貴それじゃ行きましょう奥寺はほら There we go, that's the end of chapter three. So I, I think now we actually get to visit the, the city hub world with Sajima. I'm glad that we did finish that chapter because I think it was definitely my least favorite chapter so far. I mean, not just in Sajima's part of the story, but I think throughout Yakuza 5. I just kind of felt like more of a detour from the main story, and that was my main concern with it, really. Like, if they went from the prison chapter to this chapter, I think that would have been a lot better. So, the next opportunity I get to save, that is where I'm going to end things for today. Because now I've hopefully I've only got one final chapter left. left, left with Sajima, I can't even speak right now. <laughs> Tripping on my own words. Since he mentioned there's a hideout, there should be a place to save over there. Also, how far away are we from leveling up? Let me take a look. Okay, we still need a bit of XP. 
Well, we need less than 3,000 experience points, and then we will level up one more time. I'm finally glad we made it to like a, a main city area with Sajima. Just gotta look at this hideout now. Also, I don't know why Bob is apologising. He hasn't done anything wrong. There's a major street that runs north to south through the town centre. It's called Central Station Boulevard. And there's a Don Quijote on it. The hideout is in a bar. In the building across the street. So we know where we need to go. It's just getting there now. Actually, not too far actually, so yeah, we'll head that direction. Probably run into a few enemy encounters along the way. Also, I'm kind of liking the city so far, it's very open. It's open, but it's like not too complicated as well. I'm pretty sure we're going to run into like one or two enemy encounters before we go to where we need to go. So there's a police officer there so I don't think we can just walk past him. Oh no, actually no, maybe we can just walk past him. I'm kind of surprised that worked. It's actually really easy getting to that hideout. And also it was weird because just no enemy encounters this time. <笑>昔俺の兄弟分がやってた馴染みのバーです当然営業してると思って立ち寄ってみたんですがこの通りのありさまでまあこっちとしては逆に交通号だったんですがどうぞ座ってくださいあるんですねスペースビーアバンドン
ればいいな。でも不思議ですよね本当なら今頃仮釈放でシャバに出ているはずの2人がこんな場所でこんなにビクビクしながら酒を飲むことになるなんていつかお前と飲みたい思ってた悪い気分やないしかしどうして西島さんだけ指名手配されてしまったんですかね俺なんか実名も公表されないまま遺体で見つかったことになってましたし一体どういうことなんでしょうやはりあの刑務所のことも指名手配も全部搭乗会が裏から手を回してやってることなんでしょうかどうしましたちょっと表出るわえこんな状況の時にですかああずっとここおってもラジアがいいやでも表は警官がうようよしてますよ大丈夫やこういう状況にはある意味慣れとる2年前もせやったしねそうですかでもどうするんです北方組の情報でも集めるつもりですかせやな北方いう男に会おうにもどこにおるかわからんことには近づけんしねそういうことでしたらバーアンビシャスという店に行ってみてくださいそこの店なら今でもきっと北方組の人間はいるはずですアンビシャスはいその店の奥には昔から北方組がやってる特別ありますカウンターのとこにチップを渡せば裏カジノへ案内してもらえるはずです So, we gotta know where we need to go next. Kitakata no Joho mo era le ruchu wagi ena. Eh. Demo, Jugun kyo tsukete kudasai. Kitakata gumi wa, ichido teki to minashita aite ni wa, tokoton yaru type no furui gokudo soshiki des. Oyaji no tame nara inochi nage das te yu, suji ga neiri no renju ga atsumate ru kumi nan de. Nao sara tanoshimi ena. Ah, so do. アリギこれ持って行ってください携帯かええ昔のつてで手に入れましたプリペイド式なんで足がつくことはないはずですわかったありがたく使わせてもらうわアリギー and now I think it's time for us to update our save game and then call it right there So we have our hideout. We've finished what three chapters today? Yeah, I, th I think we did three chapters today. Yeah, let me actually before we update our save file, let me put all these items in the item box. I don't think any of these hunting items are going to be of any use to us right now. We do need a lot of space in our inventory for later on. Let's save our game. All right, yep. All right, that's where I'm gonna end things for today. So yeah, it's it's been a really good stream. It's been really fun getting back into Yakuza Five after taking a few days away from it, and we got plenty of stuff done, especially in the main story. So we've now got Chapter Four left to do for Sajima, and I'm assuming that's gonna be his last chapter anyway. So then, yeah, that shouldn't take too long to do on the next stream. So hopefully, we're gonna be finishing Sajima's story arc. And then moving on to our third playable character. I don't actually know who the next character is we're going to play. I no idea. So that's going to be quite a good surprise for the next stream. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm going to call it right here. Um, like I said, it's been a really good stream. I uh, appreciate all the people who showed up. Appreciate all the interactions with everyone. It really means a lot. And I appreciate all the support, as always. Um, but yeah, also before I go, let me quickly plug my socials because i don't really plug my social stuff quite often so give me one second
Right, so there you go. So yeah, that's the best place to find me. Uh, Twitter's pretty much the most accessible place to ever message me um, for any future updates on any future streams. And yeah, alrighty. Again, thank you for everyone who showed up today. It really means a lot. And uh, yeah, I hope all of you have a really nice evening or morning or whatever time it is. And I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Alrighty. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye-bye.